massive amounts of research starting in 1980 into what the, the dental consumer wants, what they're thinking, what their sensitivity points are, what they're aware of, what they're not aware of with regards to dentistry, why it is they refer, come back, accept, so forth and so on. We've got more data uh, with regards to the behavior of the dental consumer than anybody in the world by, well, it's no one even close. Not Certainly if you take into consideration the four decades we've done it, you know, and then the trend line data, which predicts the future that we have, it's, you know, we're very fortunate to be in this position to be able to help an awful lot of dentists. And the marketing we do, the advertising we do is so well researched and studied that it really always drives far more demand into our client practices than our client practices are able to process. So the trick is to get the clients against their intuition to take steps that will allow our marketing to work better. And when we, when they expand their capacities and, and retain their patient flows accumulatively into perpetuity, essentially the, these practices are the largest in the world. You know, we only do well as they do well. And thank God our company's grown every year for 40 years. And you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very important, very, very important component in the whole growth process uh, to you know, do whatever it takes to help these guys.